Let's take this Highlander for a little spin. Can you believe that? A head up display. Never thought I'd see that in a Highlander. This is beautiful. Got some ambient lighting going on. I like it. Let me just take this around the lot here. Just get a feel for Panoramic roof going on. Good morning, everyone. Woo, this is gonna be an exciting morning because I have 2020 Highlander Platinum here. This is gonna be something we're gonna walk around it, show you in lower lighting what the buttons, the controls, the LED lights look like. Let's test it out. Let's try something really cool. Backup camera. It's a bumpy ride, folks. Yeah, this is a good spot. There is so much to see here. Got LED projector headlights, daytime running lights, and LED fog lights. That gloss black grill with the silver chrome accents. It also has standard bird's eye view camera with the curb look. This one right here, one of the differences between the Limited and the Platinum, if you're walking by or you're a salesperson and you need a little bit of a tip, hey, this one is this, this one's this. The Limited is gonna have these chrome alloy wheels bright shiny silver the platinum like you see here is going to be more of a smoky gray so that's one way you can tell it's also a tip off on a 19 highlander how you can tell the difference between ugh, between the two vehicles i'm on uneven ground folks blizzard pearl let's go this way you want to see where i am right now i'm on an embankment by the back part of our lot. You're gonna see on this car, LED tail lights and stop lights. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? You probably know from my videos that it, they come on faster, they shine brighter, they last longer, so they cost less over time. It also has parking sensors for parking sonar. I don't know if I have the power back door on or not yet. Let me check. I do have it on. I like that this button right here is lit up. That way you can shut the power tailgate at nighttime. All right. These are captain's chairs in the middle row. Let's shut this. Plane. It's very overcast. I don't think we can see it right now. Let's look inside. This is gray seating. And what we're going to look at first is just the overall appearance inside. So you can get a feel for this one. The more I see 2020 Highlander, the more I fall in love with it. I'm not sure that I would be a platinum buyer myself. I think the XLE of the Limited would be fine for my family's taste, but this one is completely loaded up. And it's a good value too. Toyota did not raise the price all that much between Limited models. Great visibility here, big windows, but they're streamlined. They're aerodynamic. Let's look at the lit up controls here. And 
then we can control our temperatures. It also has rear heated seats, which people will like. So annoying, it's already getting lighter out. But I think I can still do what I need to do to show you what's lit up around here. These controls are backlit, I like that part. Bird's eye view camera, that's gonna be one that we'll use a lot when we're parking, backing up, just seeing kind of our orientation, automatic high beams, heated steering wheel, windshield, de-icer, holla, leather wrap steering wheel, soft blue lighting here, the seven inch multi-information display that tells us just about everything about our vehicle. Let's look inside the console here. This is the wireless charging pad right here and then this is even lit up so that you know if the system is on or not you can put your phone there and charge it all right i know people are going to want to see the ambient lighting so we've got ambient lighting inside the inner door handle we've got ambient lighting in the storage shelf here inside here as well and then we've got ambient lighting inside that door handle as well. Multimedia touchscreen. Your choices are going to be 8 inch display or 12.3 inch display. Whoa! It's going crazy! It's like the movie War Games with Matthew Broderick. Do you want to play a game? This is standard, this size, 12.3 inches on the Platinum. It is optional on the Limited. When you get it with the Limited, you'll also get a bird's eye view camera. I'll show you that in just a minute. There's a lot to see here, folks. Heated seats, ventilated seats, so cooled seats. Ventilated equals cooled. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we've got Look at lots of different pieces of information. You can look at the map. Look at information about our vehicle in full screen. Audio. Let's turn it to 80s and see what we got going on here, folks. Eyes without a face. Climate. Bing, bing, bing. If you're looking for a vehicle, folks, that has everything, this may be it. This car drives smooth, it's quiet, it's comfortable, it's an excellent family road trip vehicle. It's really exciting to be a part of it and be able to show it to you. Look at the multi-information display here. This is lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitor. Turn that off. And then I'm gonna hit it again. That's what it looks like. We already heard my parking sonar as I go forward, as I go backward. I think I'll do it one more time. See where we are? Okay, back it up. Listen for parking sonar. See, we're still not even we're close to hitting it, but it's letting me know. Dude, you're close. Let's go back. Okay. This is rear cross traffic alert here. And then we've got head up display. So watch this right here. It's off. It's on. The other thing I want to show is watch what happens when I open up the door.
Got our light bar that comes on, which lights the way. We'll do this on the driver's side as well. Really cool. So you got a little lighting as you get into the car. Memory seating. I like it. I like the soft blue myself. I think it's very cool, very relaxing. This is also your digital mirror. So you can see, you could be looking at headrests or people's heads, or you could be looking at, well, frankly, the woods right behind you. But I'll show you that a little bit different. Now this head up display, it shows our speed. It shows lane departure alert, radar cruise control. Also shows navigation system. It'll show audio, calls coming in. Look at all that inventory. Hey, look, there's an LE Highlander 2020. Excellent, and an XLE. Got a lot going on here. Let me show you the rear view mirror. See that? Or you can see exactly what's behind you. And then we'll show doing a little spin around here so we can see the turning circle. See if it's any good. Oh yeah. It's very nice. I wonder if I'll get sick. Now that would be a YouTube review. Yeah, the reviewer got sick. I just keep spinning around on my same circle without hitting anything, so yeah. I like. I like it, I like it. Looking all the way around. We're gonna go up here and then we'll also check out what the panoramic roof looks like. Let's take a look now at the panoramic roof Okay, so what controls do we have? We can close it up. You can also leave it partially open. Goes all the way to the back, just like a mullet. So when you're sitting in the back seat, you get all the light, you feel open. Very cool, this is what this looks like. On top, and then we're gonna open it so you can see how far back it goes. I don't even know this yet. Okay, there you go. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really appreciate your loyalty and your support. Please follow my column at torquenews.com slash Toyota. Subscribe to the Toyota Jeff YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. That way you can be the first one to type first. Have a great weekend, everyone. There's a plane overhead, so I'm gonna get louder. Woo! Enjoy your weekends, everyone, and we will see you next time. Yeah! Oh boy, woo! Toyota Jeff rules!